Hi guys, this is Benji again and welcome to our new video today or our team reaction for this day. Um, ang reaction natin is not quite uh, matunog pagdating sa mga event na ito. But I want to tackle it because this is an important topic dito sa ating bansa, even sa ating buhay. So ito yung vlog ni Mark Wanko about uh, Bataan Nuclear Power Plant. Uh, hindi masyado ito na, ano, na, na viral sa iba but I want to share my reactions regarding the Bataan Nuclear Power Plant kasi laging natin narinig sa ibang media uh, kung ang Bataan Nuclear Power Plant sorry, Bataan Nuclear Power Plant ay uh, maayos ba yung pakagawa, scam ba yung pakagawa ano ba yung standard na ginamit nila doon sa planta, maayos ba yung pakagawa ni, ni Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos which is the father of our president ni Bongbong. So nakikita natin dito, papakita dito sa video na ito, paano yung paggawa ano yung standards na finalo nila, at saka nakakahinayin lang talaga <laughs> kasi hindi nagagamit yung Uh, Bataan Nuclear Power Plant. So, ito na. Uh, ito yung video niya. Let's react from this. Sa BNPP, itong dalawang kwarto, eh, dito, nandito dati yung emergency diesel generators na kung makita mo ngayon, mahugot na dito ng napako nung dinisisyon ng Imoth Bolto. So, ito isang long lead time item no kung talagang panda rin natin to dapat ma-order na yan no uh, gusto kong ipuntiriya na itong ismong gitna ng kalsada 18 meters above sea level mas mataas ng konting generator room no sa Fukushima it was ito 6 meters above sea level and they put the generators in a basement which is about at 3 meters above sea level. Kaya nung dumating yung tsunami, nalunod lahat yan, naging swimming pool yung uh, generator site, di na makaandar. Yun ang nag ng problema. Itong 18 meters above sea level, kung katama dito ang kaparehong tsunami na tumama sa Fukushima, ni hindi ito mababasa. So, inyong ito sa tsunami. Okay. okay guys, uh, ito ini-explain na ni, ni Congressman Mark Kuwangko yung ano yung capability ng Bataan Nuclear Power Plant. Kino kinocompare na niya yung Fushiki, uh, Fushikima plant ng Japan, which is yung tinamaan ng tsunami earthquake doon sa Japan. So, pinakita niya yung qualities ng area doon sa boat yun. Kasi ang Japan at saka ang Pilipinas ay nasa earthquake belt, ring of fire, pareho yan. Kaso mas maraming earthquake ang Japan kaysa sa Pilipinas. So, sinabi lang talaga niya dito na hindi to matatamat ng basta-basta ng tsunami. Napag-aralan to ng government ng Ferdinand Marcos. Yung gumawa talaga yung, um, ng Bataan Nuclear Power Plant. So, pinapakita niya dito na safe yung area. Kasi nga pinili ang napot point dahil, dahil dati dapat bagak to. Ngunit may tsunami tumama sa Mindanao nung pinaplano pa to Kaya naisip ng gobyerno nung panahon na yun, ilipat sa mas mataas na lugar. Ito na yun. So, kasama ko, nimbita ko, si Mark Nelson. Mark? Mark Nelson, isang uh, environmentalistang nuclear engineer na masters uh, from Cambridge University environmentalistang ipinaglalaban ang nuclear sa buong mundo. So, siya po ang guest speaker ng Alpas Pinas sa aming taon-taon na stand up for nuclear event na nagaganap sa buong mundo, sa iba-ibang syudad ng buong mundo. Mark, wanna say a few words? Sir, I have to admit that before I came to this site, I 
found it difficult to understand what Congressman Mark was so obsessed about, just an old nuclear plant. Look, I'm sure so many things are wrong. I'm sure we could start from the beginning in a new location, no history, no baggage, all from scratch. Putulin ko lang, guys, ha? Kasi yung guest nila ay masteral. May napag-aralan ninyo yung yung environmental siya, napag-aralan niya ang nuclear power plant, master masteral siya. So, he have the right to say something about nuclear power plants. And this is a American, guys, na pinag-aralan talaga yung topic at saka um, pinuntaan talaga nila yung area kung magiging reload sa mga pagbatong plant na to, which is hindi natin ginamit ng digat-digata pa. At guys, remember, meron tayong power crisis or en energy crisis din sa Pilipinas at pataas pa yung presyo ng langis at saka coal, coal at tataas yung presyo at sasakit ang ating mga bulsa, honestly. Kaya gusto ko i-react to dahil kasi I think it's time to find to know what is what is the capability of the nuclear power plant na ginawa ni Marcos na hindi natin ginamit. Yun yun. Sorry to say, hindi pa natin ginagamit but ito na yung sinasabi ng Amerikano na ito. Now that I'm actually here, I understand. I finally understand what you mean. Here it is. It's built. It's, it's hits here. Yeah. yeah. All we need to do is commission this. Right. And it only takes four to five years to get this plant running. And we're in the middle of... Guys, four to five years lang. Ma-activate na daw natin ang Philip, yung Philippine nuclear power plant natin. Yung kauna-unahan, yung Bataan nuclear power plant. Max, hindi pa natin activate Diba? Four to five years. Yung ibang project ng government nagtatagal ng more than five years. Honestly. Tapos may power crisis tayo. Sana nga makinig na yung kongreso natin sa kasinado, no? Kasi uh, feel na feel ko rin na uh, nabibigat rin ako sa sa bill ng Meralco. Kasi dati, ano lang yan, eh, yung isang buwan is only 700 pesos, 800 pesos. Ngayon, pumapalo na ng 1-5, 1 1-6, or 1-8 sa isang household, guys. Imagine that, ganong kalaki ang binabayaran per household. At depende pa yan, ganong kalaki yung pamilya na ang nakatira sa isang bahay. Siyempre, iba-ibang uh, consumer, uh, consumption yan. Kasi ganong kalaki at sa need ng, uh, ng isang pamilya, ng isang prete. Di ba? So, turin natin. Of a... Uh electricity price crisis. It's not just that. As an American engineer, I come here and I see the drawings on the wall, the images, and I associate it with a time when even my country knew how to build things like this. Our capabilities have almost completely collapsed. The difficulty in building our new nuclear plant in Georgia is because we just basic skills were not... Well, in the non-nuclear side of the plant, called the balance of plant. There's nothing radioactive here. The turbine that generates electricity, that spins the generator to generate electricity, is on top of us. What you see there, the green big thing there, is the condenser. So that's a salt water condenser. The tubes inside are made of titanium. I want you to notice the quality of the piping, the wiring. Uh, if you go to any uh, industrial facility in the Philippines, you will never find this quality of design, workmanship, and uh, the way they put, look how everything in order is. Okay, dito pinapakita ni, in-explain niya yung how, ano yung gawang Pinoy. Kasi ang gumawa niya ito, Pinoy. Yung mga Pano ni Marcos, tignan mo, 1980s yung, ano, yung Bataan Nuclear Power Plant na na, na tayo, guys. Tapos until now, uh, sinapakita niya yung quality of work ng gawang Pinoy, di ba? Tapos, uh, hindi pa to nasisira at hindi pa nagagamit, guys. Yun yung masakit. Kasi hindi pa nagagamit yung nuclear power plant, pinapakita niya na ito yung gawa. Quality yung gawa, yung steel pipe, everything, pinapakita niya ngayon. Kasi mostly natin nakikita na 
Siya sabi ng media na ang nuclear power plant natin ay bulok na, hindi na gumagana. Sira-sira na, ganyan. Yung yung siya sabi ng media, eh, honestly, walang, walang yung mga, sorry dyan, yung mga against sa sa Bataan Nuclear Power Plant na yan. Kasi, alam mo yung mga media natin is, is like a business base sila. Siyempre, saan sila kikita? Sabihin nila yung information. Saan sila mananalo? Doon nila sasabihin yung information. Yung panalo sila. So, ngayon dito, guys, hindi ito sinasabi ano yung hindi naman sinasabi yung media maganda yung gawa ng ba, Bataan Nuclear Power Plant. Eh. Sinasabi niya nga nila ano eh, substandards daw ang gawa ng Uh, ng Philippine nuclear, nuclear Power Plant natin or yung Bataan Nuclear Power Plant na ginawa ni, ni Ferdinand Marcos o Marcos o Apo Lakay, di ba? So, ito na yung explain ni Mark. Malinis na malinis, no? Pati yung mga alambre. Look at the cable trays. There's no plants in the Philippines that are this neat. And this is by regulation. So, we're fine. Oh, sinabi niya, by regulation. Hindi, best, hindi pwede basta-basta magtatalo ng nuclear power plant kung hindi sumusunod sa regulations. Yan. Kasi nuclear yan, guys. Kaya nga nakapag, nakakatawa eh na sabi ng ating mga media, sorry ah, sa mga media natin dyan na substandard or sira-sira na yung nuclear power plant natin. Ano mo yun? Sa Pilipino ka to sisiram yung gawa ng, is, ng isang Pilipino din na ginawa to, ginonstruct to para sa Pilipinas tapos parang sisiram nyo, di ba? So nakikita nyo na yung gawa dito ay naka-follow dun sa regulation ng buong mundo yung standard ng buong mundo na ginagamit ngayon maaring may outdated so yun naman i-update yan diba? following, this is following US MRC guidelines this is the boundary of the balance of plant with the nuclear island guys, uh, follow to sa USA standards ulitin natin ha USA standards hindi po ano Uh, pakemi-kemi lang yung gawa ng, ng ating mga engineer dyan yung gumawa nung panahon ni uh, Ferdinand Marcos syempre grasosan to eh so ngayon nakikita na natin na ganong standard yung ginagamit nila dun sa nuclear power plant ang masakit lang hindi lang ginagamit Nagbabayad pa rin tayo dyan ng maintenance kaso hindi ginagamit. ba? Diba? So, tuloy natin. So, there's a radiation sensor there. All people going in and out are scanned for any radioactive. If I'm wearing a t-shirt and I go inside there, right? I cannot bring that t-shirt out anymore. I have to call my t-shirt now low-level nuclear waste, right? Whether it's radioactive or not, the rules are, once I bring something in there, when it comes out, no, it's like booties, socks, everything, it's low-level nuclear. That's why there's a laundry in there, oh. right? So the, what's in there is in there. You don't bring it uh, back. When, once it gets out of there, it's low-level nuclear waste, whether it's contaminated or not. Notice how thick the brackets are of everything, even it's just a simple pipe, because this structure is built to a 0.4 G seismic design basis. Okay, story natin ta. Is to give you a, a comparison, Fukushima was only built to a 0.18 G, so this is much more stringent. And notice the walls. There's no hollow blocks here. It's all buhus. Everything here is poured concrete. Look at that piping, the electric. Okay, guys. Oh, sinabi ni Mark dito na di naman earthquake proof because with the plant can withstand earthquake. Di ba? 
So, ang takot ng iba, di ba may may issue sa environmental, uh, sa environmentalist natin, sa, ewan ko, sino yung nagsabi na yun na, uh, sinabi daw na, kung earthquake, baka mangyari sa Fukushima. Yeah, but, all plants, power plants, na gawang, nag-follow sa standards, ay, kailangan, ganong ka-tibay at ganong ka-sturdy yung structure ng power plant. ba? Diba? So, pinapakita na ni uh, Mark Kuang ko dito na yung ating uh, bata nuclear power plant ay sumusun sa standards or US regulations sa mga power plants sa buong mundo. So, bakit pa rin tayo natatakot i-activate ang nuclear power plant? Natatakot ba sila na malugi yung mga ibang negosyo? na nag-handle nag like Meralco <laughs> na nag-handle mga iba dyan na ano na ginagawang negosyo ang power natin itong power utility ng bansa so bakit hindi pa rin ito ina-activate so tunay natin guys sa pinapakita dito yung quality ng gawa ng ni Ferdinand Marcos yung kanyang nuclear power plant very neat, right? Every dome that's part of the containment dome, I'll ask you to notice the gap. In uh, 1986, when the media was here criticizing this plant, they were saying that that's a defect. That's a Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that. Sinabi na ni Mark Tano, uh, ni Congress, Congressman Mark Puanco, ha? The media criticized the plant. Ayan na. Diba? Ngayon, eh, wala pa ba tayo sa media na ito? Kinikritisize ang doong Pilipino na nuclear plant natin. Dahil sabi daw, substandard to. Ito, i-explain niya lahat ng mga substandard na sinasabi ng media. Big crack. But it's actually a gap between the containment and this part of the plant. So that when there's an earthquake, it can move. It's really designed so that it can move. The Fukushima lessons learned if we just apply the changes over the years. And so speaking of Fukushima Daiichi, I was talking to CNN yesterday and I wanted to know why would, why would the Philippines not have a problem like Fukushima Daiichi? It's all Pacific Rim, there are earthquakes, there are volcanoes, there are typhoons. Yeah. And I, I had to make the point that Fukushima Daiichi should never, that event should have never occurred. Yeah. But because it did occur, it changes the future afterwards. Yeah. And the way it changes the future for the other Pacific Rim volcano, volcano nuclear plants is that everybody has that event at the top of their mind forever. Forever. It will never be forgotten among us nuclear engineers. It doesn't matter that it didn't kill anyone from radiation. It didn't matter that it didn't injure anyone from radiation. It was still a humiliating failure, not just in Japan, but for all nuclear engineers in the whole world, in my opinion. But since that time, 11 years ago, every nuclear plant in the world has been, has been changed, altered, has been increased in its security, its backup. Yeah. And here's the important thing. We don't know what sort of scary catastrophe is going to confront this nuclear plant when it operates in the future, but it doesn't matter because the preparations you do for a violent earthquake, tsunami, and widespread disaster like, like Fukushima Daiichi experienced, that preparation is going to make you tough for almost anything. Let me give you an example. Zaporizhia nuclear plant in the Ukraine has six reactors. Uh, pretty similar to this one, a little bit larger, six in a row. It was captured in war and kept operating as war destroyed many things all over. War damaged the grid and they kept the plant going. War damaged the plant itself and they kept all the cores safe and cooled and even restored the plant to operation and took it down and restored it to operation and took it down all the while making it possible for that country to feed, house, and power its population during one of the worst things that can happen to any country in invasive war, right? Part of the reason, and we're going to get a lot more reports on this soon because the IAEA is now on site at Zaporizhia, part of the reason that plant did so well, I'm certain we're going to find, is the preparations made because of a tsunami 
over in Japan, thousands of miles away, led to a complete reconsideration of safety for every nuclear plant in the world, even though there were almost no injuries, just the attention that that brought to the most extreme events was enough to protect Zachary's nuclear plant in the middle of a war. Yeah. Ito, in-explain niya guys, ha, alam niyo yung sa Ukraine, di ba, ginera na, uh, binomba na. Tumatakbo pa rin yung nuclear power plant. Because of what happened nga sa mga events ng tsunami sa Japan, tinat na standard ng safety sa power backup ng isang nuclear power plant. So, nag adapt ang nuclear power plant sa situation nowadays. So, kung tayo, nuclear power plant natin, in actual, pwede mag-adapt siya na iiwas doon sa mga kinakatakutan ng mga, especially mga politiko natin. Kasi, kaso, okay, kaso kung may earthquake, paano yan? Masira yan. Kaso, okay, ganyan, ganyan yung reasons nila eh. Kaso kung may tsunami, gano'n, paano yan? Kasi nasa earth, nasa ring of fire po tayo, baka hindi makaya ng ayusin yun. Hello! Kaya nga po meron tayong standards sa buong mundo na pinapalo. Kaya ipapalo natin yan dahil kasi nga nuclear power plant tayo eh. May nuclear power plant tayo. Kaya nga yun guys, kung, kuma, kung may idea kayo na maka-activate ito itong nuclear power plant itong batang nuclear power plant sa Pilipinas na-activate ito sa so, tingin malaki tulong na ito guys lalo na sa mga businesses lalo na rin sa mga household di ba? mag-add pa ito ng mga jobs honestly at papasok pa yung mga investors sa atin kasi nga bababa yung presyo ng kuryente natin di ba? sa so, pinapakita dito yung mga standard safety yung mga improvements ng standard safety na sa buong mundo eh, kung ma-adapt lang yan ng, uh, ng ating gobyerno sa yung sa, sa power plan natin. Sigurado mag-activate to agad na kasi madali yung i-adapt eh, dahil kasi hindi lang naman na, hindi naman nagagamit yung power, power plant natin na katuwang huwag na eh. Konting adjustment lang sabi daw ni ng ng specialist natin dito. At saka si Sir, Sir Mark if we can adapt sabi nga niya diba? Sorry, please. Let's continue the video. Extraordinary. Uh, add to that point, no? Uh, what I said in the beginning, this plant, had it been in Fukushima, would have meant that the event would not have happened at all because it's very higher. We wouldn't have even gotten wet. The seismic design basis is uh, 0.4G versus 0.1G. But you're right. Even if it actually... This plant will even improve because of the events at uh, right by Ichi, right? So that's another thing people don't understand about nuclear plants. Nuclear plants just sitting here, if they're operating, if they're active, they get better and better and better. Many types of power plants, many things in our life get worse and they wear out with age. Not Mark, but the rest of us do. Um, nuclear plants are not like that. Nuclear plants around the world tend to get better and better and better as they get older. They have higher uptime, better performance, lower operating costs, not higher operating costs. It's something that, it's not, I wouldn't say it's absolutely unique to nuclear, but it's um, very unusual and nuclear experience it almost everywhere in the world where nuclear plants are considered important and prized possessions. Okay, ayun, sinabi na ng specialists. Diba? It's more... Uh, more advantage kung older yung ating nuclear power plant dahil kasi nga less cost o ano bang sinasabi ng mga ating mga politiko dyan na sinasabi ng mga politicians dyan na mas magastos daw o oh, mas, mag ma mas magastos daw yung yun. tingnan nyo yung ano, return of investment yung ROI na ito kung inactivate natin hello gumastos na tayo dito di ba hindi, hindi pa hindi pa i-activate tapos may power crisis tayo ngayon Diba? Tapos tayo mga Pilipino I have the skills to build another one Kung uh, Pinoy tayo very Ano tayo eh um, uh, Skillful Diba? Kaya kaya natin mag build na another power plant Kung, kung tutusin Kung gusto natin Kaso i-activate muna natin yung unang ginawa 
mapag-aralan natin magkaroon ng nuclear power, guys. Kasi, it's time. Like I say, for me, it's time. Yes, it would be if it's turned on here in the, in the Philippines. Yeah. Immediately, if the day this plant turns on, it would mean the Philippines moves into a different category of nations. Those with nuclear power. Those countries with nuclear powers, they're just simply in a different category from the ones that don't. It's the most sophisticated and powerful energy source in the world. And you won't be the same afterwards. You'll get a seat at different tables. That's another thing that will happen. The Philippines will be seen in a different way. So you're seeing more respect than... Oh yeah, completely. Respect is earned, and every country may tell you don't bother with a nuclear plant, but that's because once you turn it on, you will have extra respect because of it. Yeah. Your, your status, your rank in the world will change a bit. Okay, let me hear now. If we have a nuclear power plant, it will change the status of the Philippines. Magkakaroon tayo ng respect sa ibang bansa. Di ba? At papasok na tayo sa may bansang may nuclear power plant or nuclear power supplies. Di ba? Imagine of that, guys. Hindi nyo ba alam, India have a nuclear power, China have one, Vietnam have one, Indonesia have one. Malaysia, I don't know kung meron. I think meron yata. Parang tayo na Japan have one. And see, marami sa nila. Korea have one. Diba? Na-mention nga ni Marcos yun, ni Cory 1, Cory 2, and Cory 3. Yung <laughs> pangalan ng nuclear power plant nila doon. Diba? Diba? Doon sa Korea. Uh, not the north one, ni South Korea. May nuclear power plant sila. Why not Philippines? Diba? Kung tayo nagkaroon ng nuclear power plant, investors will swing their heads, guys. Pupuntan. Pupunta na. Kasi gusto nila malakas ang power grid natin. Kasi kailangan nyo sa production ng isang manufacturer. Tapos highly skilled ang mga Pinoy. Diba guys? Kaya nga, sinabi nga ni ng specialist na rin, nuclear specialist, if you have nuclear power, nag-change yung status ng Pilipinas. Diba? Sa so, sabi respect, yung konting bragging rights, but malaking tulog sa lahat ng antas ng negosyo, sa household, sa needs ng tao, at saka sa energy crisis natin, which is naramdaman natin ngayon. Diba? Ano natin guys, nagmamalang langis, nagmamalang cold. Diba? Kasi si Bumasa, naghihirap, naghihirap sila ngayon eh, sa taas ng kanilang gas. Guys, kaya hindi nyo ba alam na ang Amerika is letting go gas cars? They're now converting to electric cars. Diba? So, nararamdaman nila na tumataas yung langis. Diba? Dapat tayo mag-adapt din sa changes. Yun yun. So, try natin yung video, guys. And not just because of the wealth the nuclear plant creates, it's just uh, the sophistication you become part people. of the members of countries who are sort of a brotherhood of nuclear operators, and it's now responsibility of the Philippines to help other countries operate nuclear plants well. That's the way nuclear safety works. It's everybody at the same time. So, this was mentioned as a defect because uh, it's too low. It's not too low. Yeah, it should have been higher. Oh, guys. Ayan, ha. Sinabi niya doon sa video na yung mga media natin dyan ay nagmamagaling na defect daw yun. <laughs> yung pala hindi. Di ba? Para lang masabing defect, di ba? Yung uh, Bataan Nuclear Power Plant. So, nagpapalo sa standard ang ating government at that time. Di ba? So, Itong mga media na ito, business lang talaga ang iniisip nila eh, di ba? So, disinformation yun, di ba? At nuclear specialist na to, 
na nagsasalitan, okay naman ah, bakit naging defect, di ba? So, tuloy natin. I want to show you the annular space between the inner lining, the inner uh, containment, which is a steel shell one inch thick, yes, one inch thick, right? And the outer one meter thick concrete dome. So, this is the concrete dome. There's a steel liner in there that's one inch thick. In between, there's an annular space which is connected to a filter system which sucks. So this is always under a vacuum. Things can leak in, but they can't leak out because there's a vacuum in here. The pump that draws the vacuum passes through a filter system before being ejected. So if there's any uh, radioactive material, it will be filtered before the air is evacuated. And nothing can leak out, it can only leak in. Okay, so that's, that's containment. It's not one containment like my demonstration, the casserola. Well, you put it's the steel liner, liner on. It's, it's uh, concrete plus steel. Mark. So, i-explain niya dito guys na yung process of containment of uh, radioactive. So, medyo ano siya, complicated dahil kasi I'm, hindi naman ako ano, engineer or nuclear engineer regarding about containment of uh, radioactive. Kasi pinakapakita niya dito na may safety features yung bata nuclear power plant pagdating sa mga leakage ng radioactive. Di ba? Eh, eh takot ng mga iba eh na kasi ba mag-leak. Hello, nag-standard nag nga sila eh. Sinunod yung nu nuclear standards eh sa buong mundo. Bakit mag-leak agad? mag na kayo. I-activate nyo na to. Sayang eh. Million to eh. Million. Ngayon, billion na ngayon magpagawa. So, eto. Kaniya natin yung video. Yes. Which American officials have visited this plant? Uh, NRC, I suppose, right? Which uh, diplomats? Which politicians? None. None? Yeah. None. Yeah, you should. So, so they should. go blah, 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 relations, you know, yeah, security, yeah. shared, shared interests, and they haven't been here. No. Okay, anyway, I want you to observe this. No? This is the welding of the inner shell. This is one inch thick. 25 millimeter, 30 millimeter steel, steel, okay? Look at the welding, no? I challenge you to find welding as good as this anywhere in the Philippines, okay? Now, this welding in America, when they build the same plant, they do 20% x-ray inspection. But because this was built in the Philippines, we did 100% X-ray inspection. So this plant is arguably safer than any plant built in America. Boom! <laughs> Sinabi na, di ba? 100% X-ray ang ginawa niya. Actually, yung gawa natin mas safer, sabi niya. Rather sa ibang plant dito sa Pilipinas. So, baksak yung argument na hindi safe ang Batan Nuclear Power Plant. At saka gawang Pinoy yan. Diba? Because of our skills, ganyang kapatibay yung gawa nila. Nakatayo pa rin. Diba? Outer shell yan, ito na sinasabi, na nakalagay dyan yung radiation na tinatawag, yung, yung mismong, dyan nakimbak yung mismong mga turbines, di ba? Na nuclear turbines, guys. Pinapangit, ito yung quality ng gawa, di ba? Nang yung ating Batan Nuclear Power Plant, di ba? Agree, 100% safer. So, ano pa hinihintay natin? Di ba? Eh, kailangan na lang talaga, ano eh, uh, i-approve lang to eh, or i-approve na lang eh, ng government natin, mga politician lang natin eh. Sa bigyan ng budget for bumili na uli ng mga turbines. Di ba? 
So, safe pa rin yung ating nuclear power plant. Diba? Di pa rin nagagamit eh. For the simple reason that they didn't trust us. So, they double-checked. Right? Yun, yun ang reactor. Dinoble check pa pala. Ginawa na natin, hinandang percent natin yung next rate, pat tapos pinag-double check pa ng NRC, nuclear yung sa US. So, pasok sa standard. Di ba? At mas safer daw sa ibang plants ng Pilipinas. So, ano yung myth na sinasabi nila na hindi safe ang power, uh, yung Batal Nuclear Power Plant o yung nuclear power plant, eh, sumusunod sila sa standard at the time. Takip lang po. Takip. Mark. Hi. I feel something. This feels similar to the tour of the AP-1000 in Georgia. Yeah, because this is the grandfather of the AP-1000. The difference is this feels more spacious and less crowded than the AP-1000 does. But one of my big complaints about marketing language used to talk about nuclear plants is that if you were to hear the AP-1000 boosters describe it, they say, oh, we save this much concrete, this much steel. But and then I go through and I'm putting my hard hat on things and I feel a little dizzy and claustrophobic. Yeah. That's worse working environment. Yeah. And you save almost no money. Yeah. What's the point of a, what's the point of a, a claim like that? Or a a obsession with the marketing word. When they are loading or unloading fuel from the reactor, which is down there, you will be able to see it from there, no? Uh, this, uh, this pool that you see here is full of water. The water is the shield for, uh, from radiation of the exposed uh, fuel assemblies. They will open the reactor, you will see the fuel, the fuel will be taken out, but it's all underwater, right? After they finish the refueling, they close the reactor, everybody leaves here, they drain this water so that, that it's dry there, and then they start it up, right? The used fuel is brought here, here. You can come here and look at it here. Okay, there's a tunnel, a tube down there. They, they lay it down and then they pass it through. This is all underwater. Huh? When they do that, they pass it through to the spent fuel hall next door. When this is running, that is also closed. So it, this place is completely contained from the outside world. Okay, describe lang talaga ni, Mar uh, ni Congress Mark dito yung proseso ng, ano, yun, ng uh, this uh, planta, yun sa nuclear power. So i-fast forward natin konti ha. Nothing here can go out. It generates the steam, right? Our plant hasn't seen a single neutron. So that is brand new. It's a plant for operating past 2100. Yes, this will go past next century because you know it's already 2022. If this is activated, 80 years. Everything in the control room is serviceable from behind. You don't have this is behind the control. Yeah, you don't have to dig out the controls. You can service it from behind, right? You don't need to the wiring is all exposed. So it's easy to maintain, right? So here we are in the control room. And if you are a incoming shift, you cannot go straight in here. You have to stay there for 30 minutes. Guys, pinakita dito yung control room, ah. Malinis pa rin, oh. Maayos pa rin, guys. Although, oh, outdated siya. Pwede naman i-update yan, eh, honestly. Because of technology. But, hindi pa yan nagagamit, guys. Kaya sa akin, talagang dapat magamit na to. Na boba yung ating kuryente. Diba? Nakakainayang kasi, diba? Na nagbay tayo ng taxes, tapos hindi magamit. Tapos may power crisis tayo na tayo uh, hindi marsubersolba. E ito na yung isa sa mga solusyon na magpababa ng, pa, ng ating uh, energy, energy price dito sa bansa. So that when then you come in during your time, the other guy goes out. 
and shifts here are only two hours. Okay, so that's the end of our tour. And this is being wasted. Wasted. In spite of a power crisis, we are wasting this. Ang pinaglalaban po natin ay nuclear energy na mapalitan ang likas na mahal na coal or gas. Ayan. Taposin ko na yung video dyan. Ah, pinaglalaban nila ang nuclear energy, guys. Ayan. Nag-react lang ako dito dahil kasi maraming negative sa ating uh, sinasabi. Maraming negative na sinasabi ang ating mga media at ating mga politician about the Bataan Nuclear Power Plant. And wala, hindi tayo ready for this kind of uh, power. And, uh, baka nagkaroon ng leakage. Bulok na yung, yung, yung planta. Hindi nagagamit. Uh, wala tayong capable skill na uh, pag-aralan yung ganitong technology. Um, substandard yung gawa ng Uh, ng power plant. So, ngayon, dito pa lang sa vlog na to na pinakita ni ni Sir, ni Sir Mark Cuanco or ni Congressman, eh, pinakita niya yung quality ng goa ng nuclear power plant. Yung paano siya na-build? Hindi siya substandard. Standard pala siya. Sumusun sila doon sa 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 international standard although may outdated may outdating uh, specification sila eh pwede i-update yan kung gusto yun lang talaga natin di ba? saka siya, siya nang nagsabi nakakahinayang ako talaga ako nangihinayang ako Kaya kasi parang tayo na lang sa Asia sa Asia tayo na lang hindi nuclear wala tayong nuclear power. Medyo thermal tayo. Meron tayong wind, wind energy. Meron tayong water energy. Di ba? Hydro. O, bahay may natin gunin to. Nuclear power. May solar naman tayo. O, to nuclear. Pumasok na tayo sa age of nuclear. Dahil lahat ng halos ng bansa uh, na kilala natin or related natin, may nuclear power capability. Di ba? Kaya, most of the investor pupun sa ibang bansa because of power power output. Kasi hindi, hindi kinakaya ng ating mga planta yung power requirement ng isang manufacturer. Kaya hindi pupunta dito ang mga investor. At saka, hindi masure ng ating power requirement yung stability ng power dito sa bansa. Kaya umaalis ang isang kumpanya. Kasi kailangan nyo yun sa production. 24 hours tumatakbo ang isang production. Hindi naman ano lang yung stop yan eh. Lalo na yung mga well-known company. Di ba? Imagine mo kung may nuclear power ka. Maaaring dumating dito si Tesla. O dumating dito si Hyundai. Sila nang papagawa dito na pupunta yung mga manufacturer na yun. Pupunta dito si Apple. Di ba? Hindi natin alam eh. Di ba? Malaki kasi ang epekto kung may nuclear power nuclear power plant tayo na capable ng ating bansa uh, bababa yung puriente natin hindi na tayo aasa sa coal saka sa, sa langis at guys paubos na yung manampaya plant natin malapit na maubos yun ano yung susunod nating resource hihintayin po ba natin maubos yun bago natin activate to? para gawing man 8 gawin na naman reason alam ko Bongbong Marcos is planning to activate this nihintay ko lang sabihin mag-go na siya nagkakawa akong vlog niyon di ba papay totoo ako niyon yun yun guys yun yung kailangan natin eh uh, solution na talaga and andyan na yung solution huwag lang medyo lang pinopolitika at saka ginagawang negosyo yung energy natin honesty Diba? Sa Meral ko pa lang, nakikita niya na ang dami na diyang negosyo. Diba? Ang dami. Sa mga sa Visayas, magkano ang kuryente ngayon sa kanila? Just bis, sa mga summer, sa sa Palawan lang eh, diba? Meron na issue niya kay Tulpo. Diba? Yung isang buwan nila is more than ano na, uh, 10,000 to 20,000 pesos lang. Tapos ano lang siya? <laughs> Bahay lang siya. <laughs> Imagine nyo, gano'n yung lalaki yung electric bill mo. 
So, it is one of the solutions for me. Yun, guys. Um, yun lang, guys. Uh, yun to ang reaction ko. Uh, Sir Mark, mabuhay kayo. I, I love this video. Sana, sana ma-viral natin to. I-share natin itong video ni Sir Mark Wang ko. Uh, kung gusto. Congressman Mark Wang about uh, Bata Nuclear Power Plant. Sana ma-prioritize itong i-activate agad-agad. Like kasi nga, or yung maumpisan na, bumili ng mga, mga diesel pumps, yung mga kulang na parts dyan na kinuha dati na mga, at pinibibenta ng, ng kalaban ni Marcos dati. Ngayon, uh, ngayon kailangan natin so now we are now we are realizing ano mga hin, mga ginagawa ng tatay ni Marcos no kung na-imagine mo na kung hindi siya napalitan tapos na-activate to hindi ko yung alam kung ilang nuclear power plant na tayo ngayon kung kung hindi siya napalitan but sad to say napalitan siya na patalisik siya Uh, kasalan rin ng kasalan rin natin yun ngayon lang natin na realize yung ganda ng vision ni Papoy Lakay o ni Ferdinand Marcos guys so guys please uh, ito na reaction ko please subscribe watch my video like and share sa aking mga reaction at panoorin nyo pa yung iba kong video guys so thank you so much for watching see you again on my next video